We're here in DC to introduce you to the 10 lawmakers that you need to watch. The ones whose names you're gonna be hearing more about and whose policy decisions will impact your daily life the most. So let's head inside the Capitol and meet up with Senator Mark Warner from Virginia. I'm really lucky because of all 535 members, House and Senate, I actually live closer to the Capitol than any other member. I usually get up and work out pretty early. I then get a binder that uh, gives me what I do all day. A lot of times my real day starts about five o'clock and goes till 9.30 or 10 most nights. So I'm not a great breakfast person, but I can hit three or four cocktail parties in an evening. My background before I was a senator was in technology. I was a, a wireless communications guy, got involved in cell phones early on, was a venture capitalist. Midway through my career, I got on the intelligence committee. We've also become, by default, the technology committee. And I think the national security issue of our time is the technology competition with China. Uh, we've already seen that around things like 5G semiconductors. We're now looking at issues like new energy and synthetic biology because in China, we have a competitor that's investing at a, a rate that's commensurate with what we're investing. And uh, I'm all for innovation, but I've been particularly concerned uh, about TikTok. My fear is one, TikTok collects more information about you as a user than virtually any other site around your keystrokes, your facial expressions, and I'm horribly afraid that that's being stored somewhere in Beijing. I'm also concerned about it being an ability to manipulate um, the flow of information to you. The most surprising thing about being a U.S. Senator, particularly um, coming from my prior job where I was governor, uh, there were some of the then Democratic leadership that uh, didn't really li love the fact that I always trying to find a way to make bipartisan deals. The last couple of years, that's been an, an advantage as we've put a lot of bipartisan points on the board. I'm a guy that believes a political career, or for that matter, any career, ought to be measured by what you get done. There are too many men and women I work with in this job that can tell you what they're against, but they can't tell you what they've actually got done. Uh, I always felt like my business at the end of the year got measured by what it accomplished. And um, I think that ability to get to yes that willingness to find common cause with people of goodwill across the political spectrum is, I hope, uh, a reason why I may be one of the uh, elected officials to watch in the future.